I'm here with Aaron Boyle, Cook Street School of Culinary Arts. We're going to talk about a holiday meal, but it's not your typical holiday meal, squash soup. Welcome to Cook Street School of Culinary Arts, located in downtown Denver off Market Street and 20th. Cook Street's 180 degree culinary arts program can turn your dreams into reality faster than you can say peach flambe. All right, Aaron, so you're cooking up something completely foreign to me. Okay, so for our, our squash soup, um, I'm starting with leeks. So generally a little, little bigger. Uh -huh. what, what um, is a leek this? is, it's in the onion family. Oh, so okay. it's a little bit sweeter and we're just gonna cut that up. Would you say a lot of people at home probably aren't familiar with a leek? I would or say just, just about everybody but you knows what a leek is. <laughs> Have you been to a grocery store? Yeah, okay. but I, I buy the Hot Pockets and the <laughs> frozen pizzas. So there's this whole produce section. Wow. And uh, yeah, you can see all sorts of neato stuff, like leeks you're and onions. Me. You're teasing I am. me here. Um, so I'm gonna get some oil in the pan. Okay. Toss in my leeks. Okay, it does salt. smell like onions. Right? So I, I get it now. <laughs> and we're just gonna let that cook out a little bit. Okay. Um, generally it's referred to as sweating. It just means that the onion's starting to release some of its moisture. So when we see that, that's when we're ready to add the next addition. Okay. Um, we're Which also gonna is? put some thyme in there. No idea what that is either. So thyme is an herb, and if you uh, kinda smell that after it's been yeah. around. Yeah. It smells good. Um, now what kind of flavor does that add? Herbaceous, I guess, is the best thing I can think Herbaceous. of. Herbaceous. That sounds wow. fancy, right? Oh, that does. So we'll get some of the thyme in there. Okay. Cut that up just a little bit. It already Throw smells great. Cool. And then I've got some butternut squash. That smells so good. And what's and this? Just butter? This is a stock. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you can use whatever stock you like, um, chicken stock. Does it matter how much? Carefully measured, right? Right. Right, okay. you can see me carefully measuring. Uh -huh. No, um, I'm just putting in <laughs> enough so that it covers up most of the squash. Okay. And it, we're gonna let it cook until it's nice and tender. Um, so you wanna have it on high, not a rolling boil, but a nice simmer. Okay. And eventually it's going to go into our blender. We're gonna puree it up and have a really nice festive holiday soup. Yeah. So um, this is part of our holiday feast class where we talk about um, entrees and starters desserts that are a little bit nicer than your, your standard right. ham. Ham and turkey. And exactly. So this is like the, this is the starter dish, mm -hmm. and then the main dish we're gonna talk about a little later. What's this? Um, well, the main dish could be anything. You could oh, do okay. a prime rib, you could do um, something a little bit nicer. That I, again, I love ham, but I think prime mm -hmm. rib would probably be great. Um, and we're going to do some roasted potatoes, and then we're gonna make some custard for dessert. Oh, something yeah. a little bit different than the standard pie. Great. Usually by the holidays after Thanksgiving, uh -huh. I'm ready for something other than pie. Okay, and we're gonna talk about that in the nine o'clock hour. The recipe to this squash soup that smells amazing already on our website, thedenverchannel.com. We'll see you back here in a little bit and we'll talk about some potatoes.